first song. April, April, rain and sun. April, April, spring has come. April, April, rain and sun. April, April, let's have fun. Okay, so the next song, Hey, 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 today is being sung by Steffi. Are you ready, Steffi? Over to you. Hi, guys. Are you ready for the first song? Okay. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. Just got to stay at home. Doesn't mean that a mice can't roam. Back to all the people that we ever seen. Back to all the places that we ever been. <laughs> Back to all the songs that we ever sang. Back to all the things that we ever done. So hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. Just we got to stay at home. Doesn't mean that a mice can't roam. Bye. Fantastic, Steffi. I love your green hair and your tattoos. Very cool. Are you ready for a story? Today's story is... Giraffes can't dance. Giraffes can't dance? Are we sure? Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and thin. His legs were rather bandy and his legs were rather thin. Oh, look at that. Bandy legs. He was very good at standing still and eating from the trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Ah! Poor Gerald. Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The wild boar started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. Oh, look at those very clever lines. The monkeys did a chi-chi-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. <laughs> Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Poor Gerald, he just wanted to dance. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he kept away from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so f sad before. So sad and so alone. Oh, poor Gerald. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. Ah, the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Uh, uh, excuse me, said a cricket. Where is he? Oh, there he is, look. Excuse me, said the cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, 
You just need to sing a different song. Hmm, thought Gerald. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. Oh, gosh. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung from everywhere. And then he did a backwards rump tumble and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I am dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that the jungle has ever seen. How is it that you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. And then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Well done, Gerald, the best dancer in the jungle. Hope you like that story. And now our friends, Manuel and Denise, are going to do an experiment. It's an experiment, though, that you will need some help from mummies. OK, good. Over to you guys. Hello, guys. Hello. For this experiment, we need a lighter, a glass, a candle, a glass of water and a plate. Okay, we do an experiment. We put the water inside the plate. Now we put the candle. Attention. Mommy, come. Can I help me for of the lighter? But of the children is very dangerous for the children. Then we put the glass. And this is the experiment. The experiment is the fire burns the oxygen inside the glass and the water in the plate raises inside the glass. When the oxygen in the glass runs out, the fire goes out. This is the experiment. Bye! Bye! Brilliant guys, I love it. So, would you like to do uh, an art activity? It's going to be lungs. Our lungs are what help us breathe. So we breathe in and we breathe out. We need our lungs to work well so that we don't catch a cough or this terrible coronavirus. But also, using our lungs to breathe in and out is a very good way to help us calm down when we're feeling a little bit grumpy or a little bit stressed. So, I'm going to show you how to make some lungs. Are you ready?
Good. You're going to need some paper. I've used pink, but you can use white and then colour it in. You're going to need two straws. You're going to need some sellotape. And you're going to need two little plastic bags. One. Two. And you're going to need these little windy things. Normally, we find them on packets. Um, if you haven't got these, you could use elastic bands or you could use sellotape. Okay, are we ready to get going to make our healthy lungs? Okay, okay, so we're ready. First thing we've got to do is to draw our lungs. So, little ring. It looks like a little bit like a bottle, doesn't it, at this point? But now I'm going to do that. That looks like two legs. And then we're going to make our lungs. And they're big and a funny shape. So nice wiggly lines. And then, of course, inside our lungs, we have our veins, which carry our blood and our air. So we're just going to do lots of squiggly lines like that. Okay, we also need a nose, hmm. bit of a funny nose, <laughs> and we also need a big mouth, open mouth like that, there we go. So, when you've drawn those, then what we're going to do is we're going to cut them out. Okay, so let's just finish cutting out the lungs, I've cut out the nose, and I've cut out the mouth already, nearly finished. Okay, and there we have our lungs. Now, what we're going to do with these two straws, I've got little bendy bits on the end of my straws, but if you have them, it doesn't matter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sellotape the straws to the top of our lungs. Like that, except I've sellotaped mine to the table, silly Lou. A little bit more, I think. I'm using my teeth to rip this sellotape. You guys should use scissors. Otherwise your teeth will fall out, like mine. Okay, now we're going to take our little bag. And we're going to put it on the end of the straw near the lung and with my little windy wire I'm going to fix it on. Twist, 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 twist to make it nice and see how it stays on like that? Magic! Take the other one, put it on the end of the straw Take your little windy wire or your sellotape and twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it so that it's on nice and tight so that it looks like this. And then, of course, our mouth goes on here. And our nose goes above our mouth, doesn't it? Stick the nose on. Okay, nose, stick on. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? So when we want to relax, all we need to do is breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. In through our nose, out through our mouth. And what that will do is keep our lungs nice and strong. And helps us to stay calm and healthy. So, if you're feeling stressed or grumpy, or you've got a little bit of a cough, just do this. 
in through the nose. And that's how we keep our lungs healthy. I think after all that breathing with our lungs, it's time for a game. Let's play spin and say. Okay, Woody wants to play spin and say. Are you ready, Woody? Sure am. Get ready to spin it. Here's our arrow. And here are our animals. Spin it, Woody, spin it. Where's it going to stop? <gasps> Ooh, it's an iguana. Ooh, scary. Let's spin it again. Spin it, Woody. Spin it real good. Oh, it's going around. Where's it going to stop, Woody? Spider? No. Dolphin? No. Diplodocus? No. Turtle? Pig? No. Wild boar. Hey there, wild boar. Hey there, Woody. Good job. Wild boar. Spin it again. Spin it real good. Where will it stop? Maybe the turtle or the horse, the giraffe, the cow, or maybe the rhino. Hey there, rhino. Ready? Spin it again, Woody. Spin it fast. Let's see who we can make dizzy. Are you dizzy, horse? No. Nay. <laughs> Are you dizzy, rhino? No. Are you dizzy, cow? Mmm. Do you think the spider's getting dizzy? Where's it going to stop? Yay, on the spider! I'm not scared of spiders, says Woody. Go, spider! Spin it! Ooh, it's fast. I'm getting dizzy, said the cow. I'm getting dizzy, said the rhino. I'm getting dizzy, said Gerald the giraffe. Where's it going to stop? Ah! Stop, little piggy! It was the pig. Are we ready to spin again? Spin it. Where's it going to stop? You wait on the arrow, Woody, because I can see that you're stopping it from spinning. It's very naughty. Let it stop on its own. Okay, y'all. Ooh, I'm excited, says Woody. Where will it stop? Hmm. I hope it's the turtle. Oh no, bye bye turtle. Oh, bye bye dolphin. It's stopping on the cow. Mm. Good job, Woody. So, Woody liked playing that game, didn't you? Sure did. And now it's time for our goodbye song and to look at some photos of the, some of the things that you've been doing. You ready? I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. Bye guys!